Alright, right, y'all. How's everybody on this happy August evening? I haven't, uh, this is August of 2020, folks. I haven't put videos out on YouTube for a while. So, uh, Scott's still doing the Scotty Squeeze over here at OYCT in Oakland. So we're going to put a little bit of it on, 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 on movie here. How's all Ukraine drivers doing around the world and up and down the coast? Hope y'all doing good. Brothers asked me up, up the coast, they asked me, Scott, you haven't put videos on YouTube for a while, doing your thing, so uh, we decided to do it today. So this is uh, Scott from uh, Oakland, ILW Local 10, Long Shoreman. How's everybody doing? Okay, and this is how, this, this is how we're gonna do this. We're gonna go to the ship, watch it now. We're gonna squeeze up the beam. Here we are, ready? 1,001, 1,002, 1,003 and a half. Let it go. Over the top. Down into the cell. Get ready now. Auto, back back to auto. Right down there. Mm -hmm. Got my hand off the handle. Let it get in there. Oops, didn't get in there that time, that's all right. Go like that. August of 2020, the world is a different place than the last time I put a video out on YouTube, driving crane. So we're gonna walk you through this little squeeze technique and all of this business. One, two, three, four, hold it, we're counting now. The crane slows down six seconds above the cart. You gotta uh, stop it and start counting, right? It's about five seconds, so I counted three and held it. Here we go, now back to the ship. We're gonna squeeze up that beam. Here we go, ready? 1,001, 1,002, 1,003 and a half. Up, up over the top, down the hole. Pop it back to auto, let it open itself up. Nice and easy now, here it goes. Put my hands off the control, pull it back a little bit. Right there. That's what we're doing over here in Oakland. The only way you could do this, fellas, if you have a manual, an automatic and manual selector switch on your uh, on your spreader beam. If you don't have a manual, you can't do this unless you just flip the button between three and two and then you gotta know how to, when to put it back into three once you put it back to two. So we're moving right along. I got about 117 40 footers to take off this ship at the 20. And then about a whole, about a whole bunch of pairs to load back. Um, So I just want to let everybody know that uh, this is called the Scotty Squeeze Technique, but I'm going to just tell you, now I'm, I'm no good, not worthy to say his name, 
But I believe this was inspired by the Lord Jesus Christ, how to get these cargo off the ship just the way I do. You know. Driving cranes after a while can become boring, so you gotta kinda make it interesting, you know? Man, I wish I could show you guys the sky today, and it's beautiful out there. Beautiful red cloud. But anyway, uh, my name is Scott, and I've been on the waterfront since 1984. 1984, and uh, I have to tell you, I didn't know about this place. And one day, Jesus said, Scott, he said, pray, ask the Father for his job that he wants you to have. Well, you know what? Seven hours after he told me, I'm on the job in the ILW. ILW security guard, local 75. And then I did a lot of praying and asking the Lord for a longshoreman job because I didn't know what a longshoreman was. Then in 1989, the first time they hired off the street, 20 years, 20 years, they had a, 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 a hiring at Local 10 in San Francisco, the original, the home the home birthplace of the ILW. That's Henry's local. Every ball, you fell with all your ILW people now. Uh, I'm so I'm so blessed to be a, a, a member of Local 10 because that's the, the birthplace of the union, ILW Local 10, that's Harry Bridge place. But anyway, so I started praying and asking for a longshoreman job, and then in 1989 they had a they, had, they they went to the streets and they had a barrel with 1,419 envelopes in it, and uh, they took out 200, and my number was 183. So I've been blessed. Ever since I'm always, I'm just blessed. Period. I'm just blessed. Period. I hope you brothers know Jesus. I hope you all know Jesus. That's the only way into the kingdom of heaven. Jesus Christ. That's it. So these guys are moving along pretty good. We got caught up now. If I had ten tractor drivers and four top pickers, we could just keep on going. We could do fifty an hour and easy, easy down below doing his technique. Ain't nobody there? Uh, no, no. Right, right? No, no. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. Thank you. So if you feel it with me, And uh, over here at OYCT, fellas, I just hate to say it, up and down the coast, I think we've had the highest boob count per hour for, for some time now. We're not trying to compete with anybody, but I guess folks just like to go to work and handle their business, I guess. It's a good collaboration between a union and employers. It's a good collaboration. Everybody working together and folks getting their benefits. And Hey, proper wages and taking care of the people's business, letting them people make some money. Do the best you can, let them employers make some money, and they they're gonna make sure they hire a union back. You know, a, union, a good union member is a man who and a woman who do their job, do do a good job. They do it safely and, and, and honestly, uh, just to. Do a good job for themselves. When you do a good job for yourself, everybody gets blessed. Right. What I do is when I come out, I get the crane slows down, you start counting. All your operators, that you, you new operators, old operators should know that already, but you new operators, find out when you bring, when you come down with a box, you should, you should go into a slowdown mode, you gotta find that out. Try to figure out uh, how close you are to the bomb car without touching it, by counting. Then, then when you find out uh, uh, your count, how close you are, then you can just 
kind of like ease it right in on that bomb car. You don't have to drop her in it because you know how far away from the top of it you are. All right. What is this? Man, that, that's a big mistake right there. I'm, I'm coming off the ship full speed with, with, with 60,000 pounds. My goodness. It's all right, just let me know. All right, so anyway, that happens once in a while. I gotta make it one more. Short, you want the A short when I get to it? Or do you want me to sidetrack it, kid? What do you want to do with it? I need to sidetrack it for now. All right, so some of that shit on the uh, on the on the water side of them pairs, I'll sidetrack, and uh, you let me know when you want that, huh? Right. Thank you. Yeah, I just talked to the clerk. I got a boss. That everybody everybody's on the payroll. Everybody's on the payroll. And I'm talking to the clerk, she tell me how many top figures she got where they're at, and I just, because I'm looking at this stuff over here. seconds right now you see I'm not even close to the bomb part but I got three seconds watch four now I got one more about one more second now let that get in the middle tap it down five right in the cut right in the cut that's okay all right next cell I take out three and I sidetrack one I'm so thankful to have this job, y'all. This is the, really a good job, and a gift from the Lord Jesus Christ. That's all I can say. That's it. The ships are his, the cranes are his, the, the water is his, it's all his. He's in control of all of it. Start counting from the time you leave the dock to the time you get over the edge of the ship. Count and how find out how many seconds that is, and uh, uh, that way uh, uh, you can just keep it moving. You don't have to go all the way up in the air. You know, you just count to give yourself a good idea to find out where you're beaming. It comes naturally after a while. You just start counting naturally after a while. I'm out here in lane four, right? So when I come off this ship, the crane's fast enough now and high enough. I come off the ship, I cut the trolley off, I shut it off right at the edge of the uh, crane leg on the inshore side. It'll go right out to lane four. 
All right, let's count again. Here we go to the ship. Ready? 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Let's see, 1,000. One four seconds. Let's count them out like that, nice and easy. It's like baking a cake, fellas. You got all the different recipes, you put them together, and it makes for a nice cake. It makes for a nice, smooth operation. I gotta turn my light on now. I gotta be able to see this stuff. There you go. Alright, this is a good one now. You always want to do is you want to look straight down. And you want to look down, straight down the center of your gate as you're coming off the ship full speed. You want to make sure that it lines up with the center of the hatch. And uh, so you make your adjustments so you don't hit anything as you're going in, you know? Always look down the middle of your beam. You can find out if you have a, a, a four and a half swing or whatever, you gotta look down the middle of your beam. That helps you to make sure you're straight down the middle of that hatch. And then it, it can be based on too whether the ship, the ship might be high in the front, you know? If it's high in the front, that can, that can mess you up. But then, but then again, what I try to do is I try to adjust the, uh, the beam to the ship. So what I do is I sit the box on a beam on the ship pick it up, set it down, and see when it lands on the box level. I know when I'm going to the to the vessel. Yeah, thank you. Uh, when I'm when I'm going to the vessel, uh, or coming off the vessel, I'm level with the vessel. And then so what I try to do is get the signal man down on the dock to make the correction on the uh, on the uh, on the um, what we call them bomb cards. If the ship's up in the front, you want to. Raise up your. Uh, now I gotta go to the right a little bit. So the ship's on the front. You want to uh, uh, raise the, the front of the bomb cart a little bit to match the, the level of the box. That way, the operator, uh, the, the four and out swing uh, business is eliminated. Okay. So now watch it. I want to put this down here instead of coming all the way to the top. I'm just gonna squeeze it up a little bit. Like this. Okay, we got it. Okay, thank you. Is that you down there, Cadillac? Okay. Right, right. Well, hey, you're, you're, yeah, you're famous now because your name's going to be on YouTube because I'm, I'm videoing this. Can you get that? If, when, if, I, if I get that up, can you take that MED, huh? Uh, not really, because these people are going every fucking way. Okay, we'll sidetrack it. All good, we sidetrack it. Thank you. See, that way I want to communicate with him. We want to communicate, because oh, he's just sitting down on the phone. That's all good. He don't pay well. So we're getting... Short round. We'll look for a number 2995. 
fingers are lined up and I'll know which is going where. The number? 3029, 90 of 62. 729 is going there. Yeah, 729 is going there. Don't. 862. Alright. I'm not going to. I'm just going to stay in short, child, and work it like this. I don't want to get her confused. I don't want to confuse that clerk. I got one minute. Yeah. So I'm looking right down the middle, pretty, pretty, pretty center, pretty good. So now, how we're discharging the vessel? You got, you got, uh, you got a bunch of sorts down there that are all they're all separated and they're all mixed up. And uh, so we try to. You got so many machines in so many locations. We try to make it work where everybody uh, keep on going. You know. You don't want to overload one one uh, one machine and then uh, let the other sit. You want to get try to get them out uh, so they're all working. I got a little four and a half wing, slight four and a half wing. Look at the beam, mm -hmm. see what it does. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you want to just hang it and see what the beam does if it goes fore and out and you can make the adjustment with the crane there. That's a good one, right? Four six eight. That's a good box, right? That four six eight. Is that a pink? Is that a pink sort or that's uh, not one of the ones you're supposed to sidetrack, right? Yeah, four six eight. Yeah. Uh, regular SP. Thank you. I'm looking for that 99.95. That's one. That's one down there, huh? All right, that was sidetracked. That was. She don't want that. All right, so we got a 20 minute coffee at 8:30. Say what? Unit break, man. We rolling. They want a unit break. We we rolling. Okay, this is a side track. See, she can't take this. Park right here. Sometimes too, a lot of containers, you know, a lot of these boxes are, some of them are a lot of not even in their weight. And that'll get the container to go four and a half, through four and a half on it.
dig, dig, dig. Boxes. You want me to start on that offshore cell and work my way in and so that uh, could you, he, he probably sitting there, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, that'll be perfect. Yeah, okay, we'll we'll do that. I'll I'll start I'll start going off and work my way in, sidetrack the sword. Yeah. Okay, Cal, we, they're kind of slow. We're gonna uh, I'm gonna go one off and go down cell for cell because they got some blanks. You gotta get those blanks out of there. That's why I'll be done going there. Go ahead, it up. Yes. You could even actually do the squeeze technique in reverse. I mean, from from the backside too. big vessels and they'd be coming by doing that. You always gotta watch out for that in big ship.
Yeah, I was gonna take three from offshore again again. Just look look for some boxes on the top offshore. I'm getting those so I can get in the cells. That was three off, now you're getting two off. Three off, now you're getting two off, okay? This 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 uh, young lady out there. Me and her mom came into the into the uh, into the union uh, same time, 1989. Very nice, very nice lady. Everybody knew her. So now I got enough off the top. I can work at three all shoes. No. Full speed, uh, ladies and gentlemen, eh? the hoist is all the way down full speed. Four, hold it. When you go to the ship, it's full speed. You can't, you can't put the handles down halfway. If you put the handles down halfway, you're scared of it. You can't be, you can't be scared of it. Handles down halfway, you know what the crane's gonna do. All right, all the way up. Yeah, you gonna roll too. Shut the video tape off and stop the video, but I'm, I don't want to take my hands off the controls and stop it. Yeah. 
Hey, Danica. Pass. All right, baby girl, now you see you got how, how you got all those uh, uh, empties over there, I mean all these uh, non-marks on the offshore side. So where I'm at right now, we're gonna try to go every other one there and then I'm come to the inshore side and get you one of those stores, okay? All right, do it like that. Look for those look for those cells, one off, and then the next one on the, you know, do the farthest one inshore, okay? I got you, baby. I know you, dude. Thank you. I'm doing I'm squeezing it now you can see I got I got box I gotta to go to trans center on the offshore side and this cargo over here is sourced so what you got different machines in different places so what do you do well, you just pick from both sides it's working both that way you keep all the machines going at one time See, when you got robotics in here, right? Now, just we're not going to get robotics in this port, but when you get robotics, fellas and ladies, it don't matter what you take out because they'll have those machines set up in the yard, a whole bunch of them, in all those sort of places. And, and, and uh, yeah, they're just going to go everywhere. They'll have stuff going. They'll have stuff going all over the place, like something like it. It, it might the load might leave this crane, and it take they take the uh, cargo out to the yard, and it. That's, that's what happens with automation. Tractor driver can work off three, three cranes. Got that thing on the offshore side there sticking out. So when I when I come out to hatch the container, I'll I'll pull it to the inshore side so they don't hit it. That's what that covering is right there for for protect that thing, protect those center guys. I look to my left, we're doing good. I got I got one here and, and uh, two to my two to my left. We're doing good. Three. Hold it now. I got a count of three, right? There's four, there's five. Hold it. Easy. Put in the cusp. Five will put you in the cusp. When you're in the cusp, you just crack it a little bit. And they don't feel nothing. have a tendency to swing back and forth no matter this is the empty guy, no matter what you know that's one thing you want to watch too when you when you're going into this ship kind of like once in a while you want to look at your corners just to make sure you're square with the hatch
y'all short side. Anybody catch it on? This is August of 2020. August 2020, less than 90 days before the election. Will America be America after this election? We will see. My pastor says either God's going to abandon the country or he's going to keep it. His will will happen. Whatever his will is. It's gonna happen. You'll probably start using the squeeze now to get this out of here. Let me see. Hold it. Ten eleven container D. So I only got two more sorts to look out for the sack the sidetrack. I've got those. Hey. I know where those are at. One, two, three, four, five and a half. Look at it in the cut. Five and a half. In the cut to the pump. And now we're gonna do a little squeeze now. Let's go back into the hat. Watch. Ready? Look at 1,001, 1,002, 1,003 and a half. Okay. Up over the top. I'm not going to save much time on this one because it's kind of high in itself. That's okay. You go in there like this. That might be that. Wait a couple seconds and open up right into the side. Good. All right. All right. Put it back to uh, manual. Hey, I got another one in that offshore cell there, uh, Cal. Yeah. All right, thank you. So now it's going to speed up a little bit because we got a little bit more room. 
Give me a little squeeze then. Counting is essential. Counting is essential if you have a slowdown. How many seconds it takes to bring it up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. About eleven containers deep. Squeeze it up a little bit. Here we go. Release. 3029. Stand by. He went to them to do a box at 433. Uh, Just stand by and wait for him. Danica, you're on the crane channel, Danica. I've been doing this technique. Maybe seven years, maybe ten years already, or more, maybe. I don't know, but it's, now I'm at the point. It's just like it's good. above the bomb part, yeah. There's five, five and a half right there. All right, to the ship. Squeeze out, ready, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. We're just a tiny squeeze, y'all. Over the top of that hat. And uh, Jesus Christ taught me how to do that, so. Give him all the glory.
more ways. Four, I'm gonna come around. Here you go now. Crack it in there too, a little bit. There you go. I, I, I missed one of them DVs. I'm sorry I let that get by. I got one more that offshore cell. Do you want me to sidetrack it when I get to it or give it to you? Good for me. I got it, baby. Okay, thank you. And I do have some extras from the inshore side. Okay, I got you, got you, thank you. to doing this now the secret to doing this as you're going down just before it's getting ready to get in pop into the cell guy and you take your hands off the hoist and just let let it you don't want to put no pressure on it just let it ease in there that less downward uh, movement it, it, it's good it's quite interesting And 
mention before I end this uh, conversation or this uh, uh, this work job tonight, this video, I just want to say, uh, everybody, uh, GraceBible.com, Grace Bible Church Hayward, Jesse Gustan. If you believe in Jesus, turn it on, you'll be blessed. All the way around the world, Grace Bible Church Hayward, check it out, you'll be blessed. Saves time, and every time you do that, you start to add up the seconds. That there you go. I don't know. It's repetitive between A and B. Between A and B with a Scottish weed, and Jesus told me how to do it. Ships are big now. We're getting three, three uh, new cranes here next month. It's gonna take them till January. They'll have, be up and running by January, I guess. So they're gonna be taller than these. Like fishing. Ah. <laughs> it's like fishing with a crane. <laughs> I just thought about that. That's pretty funny, huh? See how quick I got to that box, y'all? You guys are gonna drive these 14 cranes, you gotta have to learn how to drive at full speed. You know. You can't half and you can't put these handles down halfway and the train will jerk and around. It's not, it's not good. And that container will be moving all over the place. Fast between A and B. Listen to your, listen to your slowdown. And start counting. One, 
two, three, four, five and a half. There you go. This is, and you crack it. You don't even feel that. Are we going to the ship now? One, two, three, and a half. Up over the top. I'm going to the offshore side. I'm mixing up a uh, source of so keeping all the machines going now. Make sure you got enough room before you come back. You don't want to hit nothing. Want to handle it. All right. You in there. Can't be a butterfly on every single one. If you're a butterfly in every one, you, you, you know. That would be good though. There's a whole lot of things in our country going on. It's going to be made in the clear here pretty soon. A lot of people are going to see a lot of strange things about America pretty soon and the world. Two, three. I got three seconds now, right? Four. Cracking it now. Just cracking that handle. There you go. Just crack that handle. Get it in there nice and easy. Okay, here we go to the strip now. One, thousand, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three and a half. Over the top. Start to take that thing down and down into the hole there. All the way down there, golden. We're fishing again, see? Like fishing. Hands off the handle, look at that. Right in there. Now we're trying to do better, nice and easy. Alright, there you go. I noticed the left hand side hit, hit first, so I'm going to drop that right side down just a touch. There we I held it at four, see, because the container ain't straight, right? Try to straighten that thing out here. There's five, a little bit there, right? that down there and drop down let it go hands off nice easy connect here nice easy connect there you go let it go now we're in the stuff swing on it so I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the back end of it back down. That just doesn't seem to be working. Uh, 
Drop that back in, back down. Land on them bomb carts. Full speed. I, it looks to me like my, my, left side, my left side is skewed a little bit to the water, so I correct that. Man. Should take care of that. Count. One, two, three. Hold it down. I got three seconds. Crack it. Just crack it. driver told me and he passed away now an uh, old timer named Marcus used to work for this company he said oh I was going up in the crane with, with him when I was a guard he said got fast between A and B slowed down on the contact point I said okay it's between A and B is where you make up all your time when you get down to where you got to go you just you try to be gentle that's all it takes a few extra seconds to land the box you ain't trying to, you know, because you already, you already made up your time already. Get going in there to the ship already. We're ahead of the game. Man, this is the longest video I think I've ever done. I'm going to just shut this video off. Hey, you guys have a good one, man. This is Waterfront Perspective. And uh, doing doing the squeeze back in Oakland ain't stopped doing the squeeze still doing it all you crane drivers y'all be peace to you now take care as soon as I get on the neck I shut it off Everybody.